Evening, Matt. Hey, David. How's it going tonight? Pretty good. Pretty good. Just getting the timer ready for this evening. It's weird. I usually ask at the beginning of all my classes if if anything's new or different for anyone, but it seems like <laughs> that's a silly question these days. I have to move on to a different topic of a conversation. Like, what did yeah. you do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's funny. I took my bedroom apart. And I mean, I took everything apart. <laughs> Cleaned it, flipped the mattress. <laughs> Just looking for projects at yeah. this point. <laughs> it's a very clean bedroom. <laughs> there you go. Well, at least it's something productive. There you go. Let's see who's rolling in. Hi, Marianne. How are you this evening? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Oh, just another day in paradise. <laughs> It's a little chilly out here in the sunroom today, that's for sure. But as soon as we get moving, I'm sure I'll warm up. Okay. Oh, let's see, we have a few people strolling in. Let me see, hey Trish. Hey, yeah. hey, Carrie. How's it going? Hey, Carrie. Cool. Hey. See, Diane. How are you doing this evening? Good. I did Aubrey's noon class. That was good. The oh. arms and core. Yeah. Awesome. Going for a double dip today. That's right. Hey, Clyde. Hey, Diane. So this is your second one today, huh? Say what? This is your second yeah. session today. Yeah. Get your money's worth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Trish, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good. Oh, I'll announce again at the end of class, but I'll say before we start, I know last week we skipped our social happy hour, but this week we are back on. So five o'clock tomorrow for anybody who wants to uh, <laughs> catch up and have a little social time. We'll do our usual Friday five o'clock happy hour. Okay. All right, I'll give everybody just another minute here and then we'll get started. We're gonna work on some power this evening. So a little, little more of a break time in between exercises. And we're not going to do it circuit style today either. We're going to do four sets of each exercise in a row before we move on to the next one. Okay. Okay. Got it. Definitely okay. will play my music. <laughs> there you go. Well, yep. shouldn't I have Enter Sandman start for the warm? <laughs> <laughs> you got to keep the traditions, right? It's about routine these days. Keep yourself <laughs> the same routine, right? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and mute everybody, but you know, as usual, if you need anything, you have the ability to pipe in for a second. All right. So everybody's muted. You can start your playlists on your own now, right? And we'll get started with our marching, getting that blood flowing. If I didn't say hello to you individually and you came in in the last minute or so, hello, hello. We'll do our shoulder rolls back. Getting that stress out, loosening up the shoulders a little bit. Good, and relax. We'll do our head tilt side to side. Just a couple seconds each direction. And one more each. All right, let's check those blind spots, rotate. 
one and then the other. Good. All right. We're going to cross in front, come up into a Y like the YMCA next. I know I skipped the back strokes or those large arm circles back, but we'll come back to them in just a second. Got to keep you on your toes. See if you can notice any of my mistakes at home. As long as we get them all in, though, there's no specific order required. Good. All right, let's go back and get those. They are important. Five big arm circles on one side. Good, and five on the other. And five, beautiful. All right, we'll hit our Jane Fonda step next. Little reach and pull with a heel kickback. Just like so. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. At the same time, we're kicking the heel up towards your bottom. Couple more each leg. Ah, one more each side. Good, and relax. All right, nice little standing rotation. Yeah, loosening up the core a little bit. Try not to be tense at all. We want a gentle stretch, but not a strain here. All right, good. We'll do our hip opening series next. We're gonna come up to the front with the knee, out to the side, and then up and around two more times. Up, out, and around. Up, out, and around. Beautiful. Other leg now, same thing. Up, out, and around, up, out, and around. Last one, up, out, and around. All right, let's test that balance while we stretch our hamstrings a little bit. One foot back, one foot forward. We're gonna rock and reach forward and then sit back into a little hamstring stretch. Reach and stretch, reach and stretch. Last one, we're gonna hold at the bottom, reach and hold, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Go ahead and switch to the other side. Same thing, reach and stretch, reach and stretch, reach and stretch. Last one, reach and hold at the bottom, five, Four, three, two, and one. Good. All right. First position again. Feet split apart. And we're going to reach up and over. And relax. Reach and relax. Two more times. Reach and relax. Holding on this last one. Five, four, three two, and one. Good. Go ahead and switch the foot position one more time. Other arm now. Reach and relax. Reach and relax. Reach and relax. Last one we're going to hold. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. All right. If you've got the space, go for that grapevine. If you're Doing it in place with me, we're just going to do our curtsy lunge back and forth. Just a little curtsy, warming up those hips. If you don't have space for your grapevine. Good, and relax. All right, we're going to do that side step or side shuffle of jumping jack arms next. 
I'm going to do it in place, but you can feel free to use your runway if you've got it at home. We're getting those muscles ready for all the jumping jacks we have today. We've got five minutes straight. No, I'm just kidding. Good, and relax. No jumping jacks today. All right, so our last one, we're going to do that walking lunge or that step back, lunge in place with a little reach overhead. So stepping back, reaching up, and the other leg. And again, it doesn't have to be a full lunge. It can be just a big step back while you reach up. If you prefer and you've got the mobility and strength, you can drop down into that full lunge. But just a step back is okay too. One more each leg. And rest. Beautiful. All right, go ahead and grab a sip of water if you'd like. So, like I said, we're going to do five exercises today, but we're not doing it circuit style. So we're going to do the same exercise for four sets in a row before we move on to the next one. Since that's the case, I'll just go over one exercise at a time. So our first exercise, move my water bottle out of the way there, is a deadlift. So you can use a band, stepping in the middle of the band. I'm using dumbbells, you can use a kettlebell as well. And it's not a stiff leg deadlift, we're doing a more traditional deadlift today. So weights still go down towards the toes, but we bend the knees and we can sit those hips a little bit lower. We're still hinging, but we just get more knee bend with a traditional deadlift. Now, if you don't have a particularly heavy weight or particularly heavy resistance band, that's okay. You can still work on power by performing that movement a little more quickly on that concentric phase or as you stand up. So if you have only light weights, that's okay. Go down under control and then quick up, squeezing the glutes, stomach engaged, not wrenching the back as you stand up, just going to standing, squeezing the glutes, pushing the hips forward. All right. We're going to do four sets, 30 seconds of effort, and 30 seconds of rest in between. And then we'll take a water break in between exercises. We'll get started here in five seconds. Ready? Begin. And you don't have to keep up with me as far as pace. You can do this on your own. Make sure you're using a nice neutral spine angle. And those weights are coming right down to the toes, not rounding and reaching out in front, but straight down, sitting those hips back. And relax. Good. So these rest periods will feel a little bit unnecessarily long in the beginning. By the end of the fifth exercise, you'll see why we made it 30 seconds. Because as you work more on power, eventually that energy system gets a little bit worn out. Five more seconds. Set number two, ready, and begin. Nice, quick stand up if you're using a lighter weight. If you're using a challenging weight and you're going a little more heavy at home with maybe even a kettlebell, if you've got it, don't go so fast that you use improper form or start to hurt the back and relax. Good. Two sets down already. By the way, for anybody on Tuesday that heard me mention that my grandfather came down with the COVID-19 sickness, he is out of the hospital and resting and recovering at home. Three, two, one, and begin. I just know a couple people had sent me messages which were very, very appreciated. 
but he's a tough, grizzled World War II vet. He's not going to let a little virus slow him down. No, he was just very lucky. He got very good care and, and relax. Good. And apparently for 91, he is in phenomenal shape. So we are very relieved that he is resting and isolating at home. What medication did they put him on? I'm not sure, to be honest. I'll ask my aunt though, so I can tell you specifically. Okay. But he didn't need a ventilator or anything like that. He apparently did not have a particularly severe case. Vegan. Good, 10 more seconds. Put those knees bent, keep the back neutral. And time, awesome. Beautiful job with those deadlifts. Grab some water if you'd like. I'll demonstrate exercise number two. So next we've got a chest thrust, which is like a quick, thrust or punch out with both hands. You can do it holding a medicine ball. If you've got one heavy dumbbell, you can hold it on either side like so. If you've got lighter dumbbells, that's okay. You can do it with both like that. We're gonna stand in a quarter squat position. And again, it's gonna be a quick punch out and then controlled on the way back. We'll take about 10 more seconds or so. All right, three, two, one, and begin. Yeah, yep. Little quarter squat, just a athletic stamp. Stomach engaged, nice posture. If you're using a medicine ball, just don't let go at the computer screen, right? I don't want Anybody having to call IT in the middle of this because they crashed their medicine ball into the computer. And relax, Good rest. And again, even if you're not using the heaviest weight, we can still work on that power with the quick movement that we're doing. Everybody's looking awesome so far. I'll let you know in advance. Ready? And begin. I'll let you know in advance for the next exercise. You might want to get a stool or a chair with an extra cushion or pillow on top of it. We're going to do some box squats after this exercise. And for anybody that wants to get really crazy, I'll show you the single leg box squat variation. And time. Good, take those 30 seconds. Definitely starting to warm up out here in the sunroom a little bit. Sure, the sweatshirt will be coming off sooner than later. Ready? Three, two, one, and begin. Good. Yep, and even though we're just moving our arms, our abs are engaged. That belly button is pulled in. And we're using nice, tall posture. Looking good. Yep. Five more seconds, quick punch, and relax. Awesome, one more set. Whew. 
breathe. All right, three, two, one, and me. Yeah. Yeah. If you've got a boss you don't like, maybe a political figure that you're not a fan of, I won't say either side, you can put that target right in front. Just a few more powerful punches. And time. All right. So, again, time to bring in that stool or chair. Or if, you're, if you have to walk away from the screen for this one, that's okay. You can do it. I'm bringing my chair over. Now I had a pretty low chair. So... I put a couple extra cushions there. I'll show you the regular box squat first, and then I'll show you the advanced version with a single leg box squat. So I've got my weight at my chest. I'm gonna come down and then back up quick. So I'm coming down. I'm not just tapping, I'm actually sitting for a split second and then standing up quickly. Glutes engaged core engaged. Now, if you're doing single leg, you probably won't need the weight. And again, only if you need this challenge. Single leg, you've got one leg up, lifting my foot here, coming down under control, and then firing up, pushing through the heel. If you're doing the single leg, we'll do one round on one side, and then the next round on the other side. So first couple rounds, I'll do single leg, just so you have that to model if needed. And then the next two rounds, I'll do the normal box squat with a weight at the chest. All right. Take your last sip of water if needed. Take a deep breath. And let's get started. Three, two, one, and begin. Good, coming down under control and then firing up. And again, you don't have to keep up with my pace. I'm doing the single leg version to start. So I might be going just a little bit slower if you're doing the regular box squat. But again, make sure it's not just a tap. It's a quick unweight and then a firing back up. Nice tall posture. Notice how I never round the shoulders forward, right? And time, beautiful. Rest. I'll turn the chair for the second set just to give you another angle. All right, halfway through the rest, take your time. If you're doing single leg, just switch to the other side. If you're doing the regular box squat, keep up the great pace. Ready, begin. Good, so under control with good posture, firing up. Nice and tall. If you have to round the back, or you feel like you're leaning one direction or the other on the single leg, go back to the regular version. Still can get plenty of power production with that. And time. All right. And I'll go back to the regular version for the last two rounds. Just so I'm demonstrating for all. Try to be a trainer of the people, right? Make sure I make sure I demonstrate for everybody. Three, two, one, begin. Of course, now that I'm on both feet, it goes a little quicker, right? Yeah, make sure we're not just tapping, but actually quick unweight and then an explosion back to stand. Pushing through the heels as we stand up. Now, 
and time. One more set of those. I'll go sideways again. Get those breaths in. Ready? And begin. Yeah. Yeah. Protect that back. Pace yourself differently than me if you need to. But either way, keep the glutes engaged, keep the stomach engaged. And time. Beautiful. Take another water break. I know we are getting the heart pumping by now, I'm sure. Especially if you're moving quickly or moving heavy weights. And again, quickness and strength are all relative. So whatever your personal challenge is, You don't have to have 300 pounds of weight on the barbell to be working power by any means. And by the way, power production or the ability to still produce power is one of the biggest indicators for avoiding fall risk. So not that it's necessarily important to a lot of us at this time, maybe it is, but we're working for the future as well, right? Now, for our next exercise, we're gonna do a push press. So that's a quarter squat, hips forward as we press overhead, it's one fluid motion. If that overhead press is a little tough for you, we're gonna do a little quarter squat into a dumbbell raise. So almost like a two-handed kettlebell swing to a certain extent. But we're still going no higher than shoulder height. And again, that's only if that press is a little tough on the shoulders for you. Same cadence. We'll do our four sets, 30 seconds each. Ready, three, two, one, and begin. Boom. That nice, fluid, explosive motion. Yeah. And again, pace yourself as needed. Rather than slowing the motion down, I'd rather you take a longer break in between each rep so we can still keep that power production up. And relax. So if you feel like you're slowing down in that press or that dumbbell raise isn't quite as quick as you'd like by the end of the set, give an extra one Mississippi in between each rep. Space it out as much as needed. As you can hear, it's got me breathing too. So if you're feeling challenged at this point, that's a good thing. Ready? Begin. And again, if the press is a little tough, quarter squat into that dumbbell raise, just up your shoulder height. Keeping that spine neutral, not rounding. And either variation, belly button pulled in, strengthening that core. You know me, every exercise is a core exercise as far as I'm concerned. And relax. Two down, two to go. Take those breaths in between. It's important to get that oxygen in. Five more seconds. Ready? 
Igen. Yeah. Uh, I hope you guys are finding creative ways to stay socially engaged at home, by the way. Even if it's not Vitality Happy Hour, as long as you're catching up with friends and family on the phone or Skype or Zoom. Three, two, one, and relax. Part of that vitality, fitness, and wellness is the wellness part too. So I just want to make sure that we're keeping a little bit of social activity. Hopefully it's not just listening to me ramble for 45 minutes on these classes every few days. Five seconds. And begin. My best friend's mom is a huge Nats fan, Washington Nationals. And apparently, Ryan Zimmerman and a bunch of other players are, or I don't know if they're still doing it, but they were hosting replays of each game during the playoff run on Facebook Live and doing commentary on the side. And relax. Good, rest, just one more exercise. Nikki's, Nikki, my wife's birthday is tomorrow, so we're doing a trivia game night via Zoom with, with a few family members. Got to get a little creative. So while you're catching your breath, I'll show you the last exercise. We're going to do a bent over back fly. So from the front, looks like this. Straight arms, pulling apart from the side. Looks like that, right? Neutral spine angle, not shrugging up, just squeezing those shoulder blades together as we rip the hands apart as we're working on power. If you have a band, that's okay. We're just gonna do band pull aparts. Same thing, standing nice and tall and as I slam the handle into my sliding glass door. Just pull those hands apart quickly from the front, just like so, squeezing those shoulder blades together with force, either variation. Last four sets. Ready? Three, two, one, and begin. If you start to feel this one in the neck or the upper traps, that means we're getting a little too much shrug. So focus on pulling those shoulder blades together and down as you rip the hands apart. And you know what I'm gonna say also, keep that stomach engaged, belly button in. Five seconds. And relax. Take your breaths here. Five seconds. Ready, begin. My twin cousins are the ones that are setting up the trivia night tomorrow for Nikki's online birthday party. And I was teasing them. I'll tell you a quick family anecdote. I was teasing them to have their husbands look over the geography portion. So I went to the same high school as my cousins and relaxed. And one track practice which they were on the team with me. I was talking to one of my buddies about the New England Patriots. One of my cousins, Kate, goes, you know, I never understood why they were in the National Football League of America if they're from New England. 
thinking that they were actually a British team. And her twin cousin Kim goes, Kate, you idiot. New England's the capital of Boston. And I lost it. If I wasn't laughing hard enough at Kate for the first mistake, when Kim thought the capital of Boston, which in her mind was a state, was New England, I was on the floor, me and my buddy. Luckily, they've studied the United States map a decent amount since then. And relax. To the point now where Kate's two-year-old, her placemat at the table is a map of the United States that I got her in memory of that story. One more set here, by the way. Avoid that shrug. Just one more set of 30 seconds. Ready, three, two, one, and begin. Good, yeah. Pulling those shoulder blades together and down. Trying to keep those arms as long as you can. If there's a tiny bend in the elbow, that's okay. But it's not a row, it's a back fly. So try not to pull like that, but really spread the hands apart. Doing great, less than 10 seconds. Keep that head up posture good. And time. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. So I mentioned before, it's not just fitness, but it's wellness too. So if you have to dim the lights for this next one, that's fine. If not, just close your eyes. We're gonna do three minutes of breathing meditation. Just kind of slow the world down, get some good oxygen into the body. Try to just focus on the breath and not what's going on in the news or the outside world. So you can lie on your back, legs out straight or knees bent, whichever is more comfortable. I'll give you another second to sip water or get positioned if you'd like. And for once, I'm going to be quiet on this microphone and we're going to breathe for three minutes. Ready? Begin. Nice and slow. Hands on the belly. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Just focusing on the breath.
and relax. Good. All right, hopefully we slowed the heart rate down, lowered the blood pressure. Hopefully you're not taking a nap on the other side of the screen now. We've still got a few stretches to go, but our muscles should be a lot less tense now as we go through these last few stretches. All right. So I'll give you a second. We're gonna start off with our child's pose. Just 60 seconds, sitting back on the heels, reaching those arms out, head down to the ground, still breathing. As we sink into that child's pose, can take the stretch a little deeper if the muscles start to loosen up. And relax. All right. So for our next one, you can either do that figure four hip stretch, lying on the back, one ankle on the opposite knee, and then hugging towards the chest. I'm going to do a little modified pigeon pose myself today, which stretches the same muscles. So if you know that one, you can do it with me, but it's a little hard to demonstrate on camera. So if you want to stick with the figure four hip stretch, that's perfectly fine. Modified pigeon pose is just one leg out in front, one leg behind with that front knee bent and shin kind of going across. And then we bend at the waist. But if you don't know what I'm saying and you're confused, stick with the figure four hip stretch, that's okay. Begin. And we're gonna do each side twice for 30 seconds. Keep that breath going. All right, switch to the other side. Ryan calls this position 90-90 wipers or something like that in his class, I believe. Other side, begin. But again, you can stick to that figure four hip stretch lying on your back. Hugging the leg towards your chest, if you haven't done this one in person before. One more time on the first side. Ready, begin. And I'll give you a 360 tour of my sunroom at the end of class in case you're wondering why my camera angle isn't always perfect. I'll show you the, uh, the space that I'm working with or, or lack thereof. All right, one more time on that second leg. Again. Good. We're only about five minutes away from that last power exercise, but with that breathing meditation, it seems like it was almost a half hour ago. All right, we're gonna do a little quadricep stretch. That's the stretch for the front of the thigh. Next, if you've got a stretching strap at home, you can use it. 
If not, you can follow along with me. We're gonna lie on our side. And I'm gonna take the ankle, right? I'm gonna grab the ankle of that top leg and pull my heel back towards my bottom, making sure my hips are extended. I don't get a great stretch in the front of the thigh if my hips are bent and my knees way out in front of me. I don't want it to be sticking up in the air either. I want that knee down right against my, the knee of my uh, lower leg as I'm pulling that heel towards my bottom. All right, relax. I'm not gonna make you flip back and forth. We'll do the same side twice for this one. Just breathe for a second. All right, second set of 30, begin. Same leg. Keep those hips extended. Keep those knees together. Breathe. I know so many things to do at once. And relax. All right. I'm going to flip all the way over. Not that I have a good side, but I don't want to have to show you my back side. The other leg should be on top now. All right. Again, grabbing that ankle, pulling the heel towards your bottom. Same cues as the other leg. And same reminder to breathe through the stretch. All right, relax for a second. Let the tension off of the muscle. One more time, ready? We go. All right, last stretch for the evening. You can do it seated, standing, kneeling, however you'd like, but I'll show you standing up just so you can see it a little bit better. So this is my favorite anti-slouching stretch. If we're over the computer hunched all day, this is gonna loosen that right up. So I'm putting my hands on the back of my hips, right? And then at the same time, I pull my elbows together and down. I'm also going to look up towards the ceiling. So as I do that all at once, I'm stretching out the top of the chest, the front of the shoulders, and even the front of the neck. And we're gonna do that two seconds and back down instead of holding. So we're gonna go up, two, and down. Up, two, and down. Good, not arching in the lower back. This movement's just for the mid to upper back. Up two, and down, good. Up, two, and down. Let's do five more. Up, two, and down, loosening up. Up, two, and down, getting some thoracic spine mobility. Up, two, and down. Up, two, down, last one, up, two, and down. All right, awesome power session this evening, everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and unmute now. Great job, excellent class. Good job. Good job, thanks. Good. Thanks, Matt. Glad, you're, glad your grandfather's doing well. Yeah. Thank you so much, I appreciate that, Dina. Yeah, I am very, very relieved. But like I said, he's uh, he's pretty unstoppable. So we're we're <laughs> glad to have him back and home resting. Good. Yeah. Good.
That's good. Well, if I don't see you tomorrow at five for the social happy hour, maybe I'll see you Saturday morning at eight for class or next week in the evening. Okay. Thank you all. Take Bye. care, everybody. Bye-bye. Have a great evening, everyone. Come on.